welcome back to the show. Pretty good so far. People are loving it, it sounds like. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's bring out our next guest. He is the editor of the Huntington Quarterly, Marshall Magazine, and St. Mary's Today. He is a School of Journalism graduate. Please welcome Jack Hooverus. Jack, thanks for coming on the show. Thank this you. is it. Thank you very much. People cheering, chanting your name, going crazy. Is this a normal thing for you? Oh, every day. Every day, that's what I thought. It's, it's good to be back at the School of Journalism. Well, thank you. That's right. You're a journalism grad? 1988. There you go. And you started the magazine in? 1989. 1989. And have you, have you been there since the beginning? Yes. No. I, uh, I was editor of the Parthenon my final semester at school, and, um, and then I went to work for the Governor Caperton and got bored pretty quickly, and then I started to... <laughs> Thinking about starting a, a magazine for Huntington, and we mentioned it at the top. You know, you do three different magazines. How difficult is that to, to publish three different magazines? Not as difficult as you would think. Um, the Huntington Quarterly we started, and we just did four issues a year for several years, and then we got a contract with Marshall University to do their magazine, and then we took on St. Mary's Today. So we do about one a month. We've got a staff of three, and um, we, we we're pretty efficient. It sounds like a staff of three. Now, who goes out and actually gets the stories and finds the interviews and, and takes all the pictures? Mostly me. Really? One uh, man? Well, as far as the story ideas, I've, that's been one of my strains. I, I'm creative. I can come up with story ideas. But uh, I do have freelance writers that I get from Marsh University, freelance photographers I get from Marsh University. Um, sometimes we use some freelance graphic designers, but mostly it's done in-house. Now, what do you do to go out and find the interviews? I mean, you know, you've done so many issues these, these past almost, what, two decades now. How do you find these people to interview? For me, you know, I come up with ideas in the shower or driving down the road. Yeah, we don't um, want to talk about all that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really not that difficult. I mean, people say, well, you know, how do you come up with ideas? Wouldn't you run out of ideas after five years? Well, no, I mean, there's a new football coach or basketball coach every so often at Marshall. There's new things going on campus all the time. Just, just here at Marshall, uh, Pullman Square, there's people. Uh, celebrities that uh, you learn about, like Matt Lauer, that uh, got his yeah, start here in Huntington. So, two, uh, 2007, you did inter an interview with him, the summer issue, I believe. Yeah, he got his start here at WOWK, and um, he was just interning, and he asked if he could go on air, and the rest is history. There you go. So we did a big story on Matt, and he was great. Now, talk about the uh, We Are Marshall Today issue that came out when the movie came out. How huge was that? You sold a lot of... A lot of magazines. A lot, lot bigger than I anticipated. Uh, we printed 5,000 copies, and they sold out in three days at Pullman Square. Um, so we ordered 5,000 more, and they sold out in three days. And then I ordered 15,000 copies, and suddenly sales went like that. Oh, man. But uh, then we had a fire that destroyed mm -hmm. my offices, but luckily those magazines were not... Um, on the premises. I had them stored at my brother's business because I couldn't handle all those. And um, we're going to actually start selling those again this holiday season. Really? We have 8,000 remaining. They're the last 8,000 ever. And we're going to try to sell those this holiday season. So if anybody wants them, now's the time to get them because after this, they're done. And that's it. That's no it. More we are Marshall. No more. And that is, you have a web address, HuntingtonQuarterly.com. Is that w correct? www.huntingtonquarterly.com. There it is right there on the screen. Look at the people back in the control room. They're all over it. So is there anyone that you wanted to interview when the movie was here, like uh, McConaughey or Davis Trithern, that you weren't able to? McConaughey. Yeah. They protected him. I really wanted to have a sit-down one-on-one with him, but uh, that was a big disappointment. I got to hang out near him and, mm -hmm. and you know, literally rub shoulders while he was doing scenes, but he was always in character. And uh, you really couldn't talk to him. If you did, he was as coach, Coach Lingle. But, um, yeah, I would like to have sat down with McConaughey, but I never got that chance. Now, who else, in, out of the We Are Marshall realm, who else would you like to interview that, that you like, man, like, I, I wish I could get him, but I, I don't think I can? We got everybody except McConaughey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that would have been that would have been the one. And then the only other you asked me backstage earlier for somebody I would like to have interviewed for for my magazines over the years, Billy Crystal. Mm -hmm. He went to Marshall, was here on baseball scholarship. Then they ended the baseball program. He left. I don't think on such happy terms, <laughs> but I think he had some good fond memories of Huntington and his short time at Marshall. But uh, I haven't been able to pull that one off yet. Well, maybe we can work together. The, the yeah. big powerhouse that is up late and the Huntington Quarterly can bring him in. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Jack, thank you for coming thank on the you. show. We really appreciate it. Not Jack Hoover's everybody. Thank you all. Very good. My next guest is here to perform a song from her new CD right here. Please welcome Tracy Ann Stanley. I love you, 
I know he loves me, but sometimes I think we'd fight until we'd be here, and we keep on keeping on still. It's a dirty road and sometimes it's all uphill, but then he tells me that I'm perfect, and he'll die before he lets me down again, but I know not the truth. Yeah, he'll walk out, but I'll be there to let him in. Cause at the end of the day, we'd rather fight than be loved by anyone else. And who cares if we don't sleep at night and we lay in the dark out by ourselves? This one day of heaven is worth ten days of hell. All my girlfriends, they say I'm crazy. They say love is blind, girl. I can't see what we see. But what they don't know is we're still falling. And even when we walk away, we both keep crawling. Cause he tells me that I'm perfect. So we sing on, but we shake our hands and we sleep in separate beds. Cause at the end of the day, we'd rather fight than be loved by anyone else. And who cares if we don't sleep at night and we lay in the dark all by ourselves? Cause at the end of the day, we'd rather fight than be by anyone else and who cares if we don't sleep at night and we lay in the dark out by ourselves this one day of heaven is worth ten days of hell yeah one day of heaven is worth